Thank you, Father. Father, we give you all glory. We give you all praise. We thank you for bringing us together that we might be blessed mightily uh, through your word today. Hallelujah. I want, to, I want to appreciate the father of the house, Apostle Steve Rema, the entire family of uh, Logos International. I want to appreciate you for giving me this opportunity to stand on this holy podium to declare the counsel of the Lord. We give God all praise. Hallelujah. By the grace of God today, we are going to the part two of the topic uh, that I started a week ago. And the topic is, let God go with you. By the grace of God, the Lord had brought us into the year 2021. And uh, if there's anything that we need most this year is the presence of God. Is that God works side by side with us as we move into this year and as we do our business and all our engagements in the year 2021. Hallelujah. We give God praise for that. Hallelujah. So before we go further, I want us to pray together and at the same time sing this song with me to appreciate God and to praise God. Hallelujah. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle-working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle-working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle-working God. Your name is Yahweh. Thank you, Father. Almighty Father, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last, the Holy One of Israel, we praise you. Thank you for bringing us to the year 2021. Thank you for preserving us throughout the old years. Lord, today we have come to your presence to receive your blessing. The Bible says the entrance of your word gives light. Lord, I ask today that as your word comes to us, Lord, let every form of darkness disappear in our lives, and in our families. Lord, the Bible says you sent your word, and your word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Lord, send your word to your people. Let it heal their body, soul, and spirit. Let it bring deliverance to their doorsteps. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, you're welcome. So we look at the topic, let God go with you. We look into the part two of it. Uh, I want to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 9, from verse 1 to 3. Deuteronomy chapter 9, from verse 1 to verse 3. He, O Israel, you are to cross over Jordan today and go in to possess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fortified up to heaven, a people great and tall, the descendant of Anak, whom you know and of whom you heard is said, who can stand before the descendants of Anak? Therefore understand today that the Lord your God is he who goes over before you. As a consuming fire, it will destroy them and bring them down before you, so you shall drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said to you. 
Hallelujah. If you want to succeed, you want to win always. You want to reach higher ground. You want to live happily with your family. And want to excel in all areas of your life. Let God go with you. Hallelujah. Let God go with you. By the grace of God, we look at how God will go with you. How will God go with you? What, what are the preparations that you need to make to make your life you know, conducive for the presence of God? God will not just go with anyone. You have to create an environment that is conducive for the presence of God. That is very, very important. Hallelujah. And number one, we look at it that you, repentance is very, very important. That two cannot work together except they agreed. Hallelujah. You must be in alignment with the move of God. You must change your way. You must repent from sin and accept Jesus into your life. We look into that. Number two, that you must allow God to go before you. One thing about God is that if you don't give him room, he will not force himself on you. Remember he said in the book of Revelation, he said, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone open, I will call him and sup with him. No, one thing about it is that it's the almighty God. He can just break through the door. He can force himself on you, but no, God gave us Free will to decide. As human beings, we are not just robots. God has given us free will to decide. So you must allow him. Hallelujah. Because it's very important. Allow him. Just like Moses said in Deuteronomy chapter 23, uh, in verse 12, uh, verse 15. Deuteronomy 23, verse 15. Moses said, God, if you will not go with us, don't take us away from here. Moses understood what it takes and what it meant for God to go with them. Hallelujah. That's why, that was why he said, if you will not go with us, don't even bother to take us away from here. And God responded. God told him, my presence will go with you. Number three, don't lean on your own understanding. That is the environment you must create for God. No, that is... Hear from him before you make any move. Trust in the law. Proverbs 3, 3, 5 to 7. Proverbs 3, 5 to 7 tells us that trust in the law with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Let him be the one to lead. You know, you, if, if, you, if, you, if you want to use your own you know, worldly wisdom, your hitly wisdom, if you want to use it, the knowledge, you want to use your knowledge to go into this year, he will not go with you. You must allow him, you know, to take the lead, to give you guidance. Then, another environment you need to create for God to go with you is that you must serve him. When you serve him, I told us last week that he's going to do three things in your life. Number one, he will bless you and take sickness away from you. He says so. Hallelujah. Number two, you must make, it will make you a movie fire. God will make you a movie fire if you allow him to go with you. He, he promised. He said, I, he makes his angel spirit and his servant flame of fire. So you become fire. It's that he makes his servant. When you serve God, you become his servant. He makes his servant flame of fire. Number three, he will protect you. You know, the Bible tells us that no weapon that formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. He said, because that is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. That promise is for those who serve God. Hallelujah. So, today, I want to do a little bit on why is it important for God to go ahead of you. Why is it important? 
Why is it so much important? Number one, if it goes, if it goes ahead of you, it will subdue all your enemies. It will subdue them. It promised the children of Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 9, in verse 3, where we read. He said, Therefore, understand today that the Lord your God is He who goes over before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you. He will destroy all your enemies on the way. He will clear the way. You know, in the journey of year 2021, there are a lot of potholes. There are a lot of potholes on our way. Hallelujah. There are a lot of lions on our way. There are a lot of dangers on the way. There are a lot of difficulties on the way. But God knows everything. He knows their plan. He knows what they want to do. He knows how they want to do it. He knows the strategy of the enemy. So if you allow him to go before you, he will subdue them as he had promised. He will bring all the enemy down. Hallelujah. Number two, because he has the key to open all doors. There are a lot of doors that need to be opened to you this year. Doors of greatness, doors of opportunity, doors of business, uh, no, doors of great and mighty things. Door, great doors that need to be opened unto you. You know, Apostle Paul said, he said something. He said, great and eventual doors has been opened unto us. He said, but there are many adversaries. Hallelujah. One of the things God is going to do is that he's going to take the adversary away from your open doors. You know, you see an opportunity. You almost enter into it. But just at the point of entrance, the door is closed. Just for you to enter, just a step to go in. It will close. But this year, if you allow God to go with you, this kind of doors will not be, hope, will not be closed unto you. Hallelujah. Now, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 22, Isaiah chapter 22, in verse 22, he said, The key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. He shall open and no one shall close. He shall close and no one shall be able to open. The key of the house of David is Jesus himself, which is God. The key is Jesus. So he has the key. Hallelujah. He doesn't need to, uh, there's no door, no door that can stand before him. In the book of Acts of, Acts of Apostles, chapter 12, if you read from verse 1 to verse 10, Acts chapter 12, from verse 1 to verse 10, we saw what happened to Peter there. Peter was kept in prison. The church started praying, and Jesus went into the prison to set him free. The doors opened on their own accord. No door can stand. No door can stand on the will of Jesus. And that is why if he goes before you, let me tell you something. You will just be entering into the open doors. He will be opening the door. Because as he moves ahead of you, no door can stand before him. No door can remain closed. So as you walk behind him, as you walk side by side with him, he will do the opening for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give God praise. I pray for you this year that in the name of Jesus, every door that has been closed unto you shall be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Number three, why is it important for him to go ahead of you? Because he knows tomorrow. He knows tomorrow. The book of Hebrew, chapter 12, verse 8. Hebrew chapter 12. Sorry, Hebrew chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrew chapter 13, verse 8. The Bible says, Jesus is the same yesterday and today and tomorrow and forever. He knows tomorrow. That is why it's called the Alpha and the Omega. What is the Alpha? In Greek word, in Greek letters, the first letter we call A is called Alpha. And the last letter we call Z is called Omega. 
The, the, the Bible is simply saying God is the A and Z. He's the one that knows the beginning from the end. He knows the end from the beginning. So he sees tomorrow. Brothers and sisters, you don't even know what is going to happen within the next two hours of your life. But God knows. He knows. He knows everything. Hallelujah. And I want to assure you that because he knows tomorrow, he knows what is ahead. He knows the dangers at ahead. He knows the lions that are waiting on your way. And he is a tribe of the lion of Judah. And he will bring all those devilish lions. He will tear them into pieces even before you arrive. Do you know that one thing? If God opens your eyes to see all kinds of dangers, he takes out of your way. When, you, when he goes ahead of you, you will be amazed. For the fact that those troubles, those problems didn't come, doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. But God has taken them out of your way before you arrive. Hallelujah. I want to give God all the glory. You know, sometimes ago, I was on a, I was on a trip, and I want to travel by bus from one city to another. At that time, just a long time ago, around 1992, I was in college then. And I, 1982, and I, by the grace of God, I was, I, 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 by that time, I'd given my life to Jesus. And I entered a, and I entered a bus. And as I entered that bus, the, oh, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, come down from this bus. But because I was so young in faith, just a year older, I couldn't understand the voice clearly. And thereby, I stayed in that bus. But all of a sudden, I just developed a stomach pain that I need to go to the toilet quickly. So I ran down from the bus, and, before, and I went to the toilet. Before I came back, someone else had taken my position. And when I came back, I was almost arguing with the guy. This, I was sitting there here before I went to the toilet, and everybody in the bus were supporting me. But the guy refused. He said, he didn't meet me here, therefore he is not going to come down. And the, the, the voice, and a man came behind me, and he tapped me by my shoulder, and he said, come, come and enter this bus. I will give you a good space there. And I left him, and I entered the next bus. Behold, but on the way, I met that bus had a very fatal accident that many people died instantly. The guy that took over my position, I saw his body on the ground because our bus was coming behind it, behind theirs. God knows tomorrow. If he's with you, if his presence is with you, he will take care of you tomorrow. A song says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives, you can face tomorrow. You may not know what is going to happen tomorrow, but you know somebody who knows tomorrow. But you have somebody by your side who knows tomorrow. You have somebody that has gone ahead of you to prepare your tomorrow. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 10, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10, the Bible says, Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. That is your tomorrow. God is saying, if you allow me to walk side by side with you, your tomorrow will be all right. I want you to tell yourself, say, my tomorrow will be all right. Hallelujah. Number four, he is the giver of all grace you need to excel. You need the grace of God to excel. You need the grace of God to triumph. We need the grace of God to be rich. You know, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 tells us, 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8 tells us, he said, God is the giver of all grace. He will make all grace to abound on you, the grace of God. The Bible says, don't you know the grace of God? That though he was rich, but for your sake he became poor, that through his poverty you can be rich. It's the grace of God that can take you to that platform that will give you comfort and riches and pleasure. It's the grace of God that can take you to that pedestrian. Brothers and sisters, you need that grace. It's the giver of the grace. You know, the grace enables you to do what ordinary person can never do. And that is why somebody will see you and say, as a believer, they will say, you, oh, how are you able to do this? You will just respond, it is God's grace. Grace enables you to do what natural person can never do. What you cannot do 
as a natural man. The grace of God. The grace of God is the power of God that enables you to do beyond human comprehension. Brothers and sisters, the grace of God, God is the giver of all grace. God is the giver of all wisdom. God is the giver of all power. God is the giver of all dominion that you need. Everything you need. Why is it important for God to go with you? Hallelujah. It is very important because this, our God, is a consuming fire. He said, I will go before you like a consuming fire. Hallelujah. You know, many people see God as a very, you know, a, as a lamp. Yes, lamp is very quiet, very gentle. Most of the time, God is, Jesus Christ is the lamp of God. That's what the Bible says. But don't forget, Jesus Christ is also the consuming fire. He said it in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29 says, Our God is a consuming fire. So what will happen is that the fire of God will go before you. Hallelujah. I want us to pray together. I want us to pray because it's very important to pray. That we pray together. So what must I do? Number one, pray. This year you need prayer. You need God. You need God. And you can subdue all mountain. You can subdue all power by prayer. So why is it important for God to go with you? Number five is that it's a God that answers by fire. It's God that answers by fire. The Bible said before you even call, it will answer you. Before you open your mouth, it will grant you every, whatever you desire. So if God had gone ahead of you, if God is by your side, if you experience the presence of God, it means that God Almighty, the, great, the creator of heavens and earth, will answer all your prayers promptly. We answer all your prayer promptly. Before you call, he will answer you. Today, by the grace of God, I want us to pray together. I will lead us into some prayers for the year 2021. I want you to lift your hands to him. The first prayer I want you to pray is that if you are listening to me, you have not given your life to Jesus. You need to accept him into your life. You need to receive him. And that is why I want you to pray this prayer. It is where you receive him into your life that he can go before you. Two cannot work together except they be agreed. Except they are in agreement. Amos chapter 3 verse 3. Can two work together except they be agreed? It's not possible. So the first thing you need to do to be able to walk side by side, side, by side with God this year is for God. It's for you to give your life to Jesus. I want you to stand with me if you want to give your life to Jesus and pray this prayer before we pray the other, before I pray with you. Pray this prayer. Say, Almighty Father, I come before you today in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. I open the door of my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. I confess with my mouth because I believe with my heart that Jesus is the Son of God. And I confess that Jesus is Lord. Lord Jesus, I open the door of my heart. Come in and take your place in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have prayed that prayer, I congratulate you. Then you can pray the remaining prayer with me. Just lift your voice and say, Father, in the year 2021, go before me. I invite you to go before me. Almighty Father, go before me. Lift your voice and say, Father, every enemy that is waiting on my way, in the year 2021, every lion that is ready to tear me down in the year 2021, 
Every sickness the enemy has prepared for me in the year 2021, bring them down in the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, bring them down in Jesus' name. Say, in the name of Jesus, because my God is the door, is the way. In the name of Jesus, every door of opportunity, doors of greatness, doors of abundance, let them be open unto me this year 2021. Every evil that, that is present in this year, no one shall come near me. No one shall come near my family. No one shall come near the church of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Give out of all grace. Release your grace upon me. Give out of all grace. Release your grace upon me. Pray and say, Father, because you know tomorrow, I can face tomorrow. Because you know tomorrow, I will succeed. It is well with my body. It is well with my soul. It is well with my spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. God will go with you. In Jesus' name. Amen.